In this video, we're covering diaphragmatic breathing and proper breathing mechanics. The skill is essential as it forms the foundation for many of our exercises. It can also help with stress reduction, decreasing abnormal muscle tension, expansion of the rib cage, and achieving proper core positioning. Start by lying on your back with your feet supported so your hips and knees are bent at 90 degrees. This is the easiest position to practice as it stacks your diaphragm over your pelvic floor and approximates them. Your lower back should be flat on the ground. If it isn't, bring your knees closer towards your chest. The key point to remember is that when we inhale, our belly expands, and as we exhale, our belly returns back in. While learning the skill, use your hands around your belly to ensure you're breathing all the way around your abdomen. First, place your hands on the bottom of your anterior rib cage and upper abdomen. As you inhale, you want the ribs to expand and move up slightly while the belly rises. As you breathe out, the ribs and belly should drop. Place your hands around the sides of your abdomen and your thumbs into your back. Inhale into your fingers and you should feel equal expansion all the way around. Lastly, ensure you can breathe into the front of your hips. Place your fingers into your hip crease and as you breathe in, push your fingers out. We want to avoid excessive flaring of the front rib cage. While it should move upward as your lungs naturally expand, your lower back should not come off the floor. Also, avoid movement of the entire rib cage up towards the head. These two patterns indicate the use of secondary or accessory respiratory muscles, which should be reserved for high intensity exercise. For our purposes here, we want the diaphragm to do most of the work. If you need an external cue, you can wrap a band tightly around your belly and push out against it as you breathe in. You can also place a small weight on the top of your belly. And as you breathe in, you should feel like you're pushing the weight upwards and as you breathe out, the weight should sink back in.